I'm in China right now to see what TVs are going to look like in 2026. I've seen TVs that are brighter than anything you have probably ever seen before, as well as seeing a 163 inch micro LED TV that looks like a cinema wall. And I even saw robots building air conditioners from scratch like it's nothing. So good morning from Shenzhen, China. Day with TCL kicks off today. Before we head out, I just want to show you guys some cool stuff that TCL has left in the room. TCL is the official partner for the Olympics so we have an Olympics appropriate gift we're gonna get some thing to eat fit check I think I'm looking good by the way check out the view this is so modern we also have a pool as you guys can see and I love the lake in the background and I don't know if you can see there's a ferris wheel as well it looks even better at night. So the day one kicked off with a short TCL briefing just to set the context of why we are here. In 2024, TCL actually hit triple number one global rankings, number one in ultra large screen, mini LED TVs, and Google TV brands. And for the future, they wanna go to the next level, which is why we are here in China to see their future technology that will set the stage. The first big moment of the day one was TCL showing their 2026 super cutie mini LED TV. This is going to be their absolute flagship display technology moving forward, giving you OLED like contrast, much higher brightness, longer lifespan, and no burn in. It's even insane to say this, but this TV is actually pushing the peak HDR brightness close to 10,000 nits, which is just insanity, especially on large screens. You might be thinking, how are they doing it? Well, this is where Super Quantum Dot technology comes in. TCL explained that Super Quantum Dot uses uses higher efficiency crystal materials along with dense protection layers and a refined spectrum output resulting in a much wider color gamut reaching up to 100% BT 2020 on their top displays. So even at extreme brightness, colors stay clean, accurate and vivid. Now seeing the TV display tech on the inside was pretty cool, especially seeing the mini LEDs under a microscope. It really shows how precise this technology really is. So now I'm back in the room, enjoying this beautiful view, just had the lunch. We're gonna have some time to chill before we head out to the city and check out the JD flagship store. Finally, we wrapped up day one at TCL's JD flagship store, which shows everything from a consumer perspective. This is where I get to see just how many TV models they offer in their lineup. I mean, as a customer, you have so much variety to choose from. Along with their QD mini LED TVs, we also had the showcase of the home appliances as well. But again, the highlight was of course the insane 163 inch micro LED giant screen cinema TV, which by the way costs above $100,000. At this size, it stops feeling like a TV, more like a private cinema wall. Definitely one of the most impressive piece of tech I've seen this year. So we're now checking out TCL's night setup, which is basically some mini booths that they've set up uh, showcasing how TCL products are integrated in our daily lives, whether it's their amazing air conditioners or their smart TVs integrated in our gaming setup or having their home cinema set up with their TVs and their speaker setup. So with home cinema, we had the flagship setup, the 85 inch X11L Super QD Mini LED TV. This is the one that goes up to 10,000 nits of HDR brightness, 100% BD 2020 color accuracy, along with the ultra thin two centimeter flat design with Bang & Olufsen audio. This combined with their Q85H Pro soundbar, it honestly gave the proper cinema vibe. Next was the Arsenal Lounge, built around sports immersion. Here we had the 85-inch C8K mini LED TV paired with Z100 wireless speakers. What's really striking about C8K is it features a virtually zero border design, along with TCL's TSR AI PQ processor for ultra smooth motion, brightness up to 5000 nits and audio, by Bang & Olufsen. Then we moved into the gaming hub where we have one of my favorite gaming TVs of the year, the 75-inch C6K QD Mini LED TV model. It's got an ultra-bright display with 144Hz refresh rate, AMD FreeSync Premium technology, and ALLM technology for low latency. Alongside this, we had the 27-inch R9 4QD mini LED gaming monitor, pushing around 1600 nits brightness along with 2300 local dimming zone. This setup showed that QD mini LED isn't just about cinema, it scales really well for gaming too. And the final zone was Smart Comfort, featuring TCL's fresh in 3.0 air conditioner. By the way, I can voice control this air conditioner. Check this out. Hey TCL. Turn off. Alright, the air conditioner is 
See, that was really fast. Hey, TCO. Can I help you? Turn on. Okay, the air conditioner is on. There we go. Super smooth. So this focuses on fresh air intake, smart voice control, energy saving, and stable operation even in higher temperatures. Now moving on to the day two, which was all about going behind the scenes. We visited TCL CSOT, which is one of the largest TV panel suppliers in the world. TCL CSOT has invested over $41.6 billion into display technology with 12 panel production lines and R&D centers across Asia, Europe, North America. That scale is why you see TCL displays everywhere. So this wall right here you see behind me, this is all the brands that TCL is currently collaborating with. All these brands are buying and using TCL panels in their products as of now moving into 2026. You can see there's so many. They probably have to extend this because there's just too many brands. Inside the display technology exhibition, we saw their whole TV lineup, including the impressive 115-inch QD Mini LED TV, TCL's foldable display panels that are currently being utilized by a lot of major smartphone manufacturer brands, their wide range of monitors, and even their smart glasses. So the tour has concluded here and uh, now we're gonna have a quick coffee break. Now after CSOT, we had a bit of a coffee break and then we went straight to TCL's Zongshan Air Conditioner Factory. This was a full-on production line tour, robots assembling units, testing, packing and moving everything through the line, it was loud, industrial, and chaotic in the best way. TCL Air has been around since 1999, and they focus heavily on fresh air technology, smart controls, and energy efficiency. Seeing their entire air conditioner ecosystem was actually pretty impressive. And that was the end of a very busy day too. So it's our last day in Shenzhen with TCL, and we're about to go to the office. And right after that, we're gonna have a city tour, followed by a pretty memorable dinner to basically end this whole thing. The day three was more relaxed. We visited TCL's ECT exhibition hall, which once again showcased all of TCL's mini LED TVs, along with their other tech like smart glasses and even their awesome projectors. Oh, by the way, I also get to check out their e-ink display technology smartphones. I think they're the only one making these e-ink display smartphones in the industry. So seeing this was also pretty cool. After this, we were free to explore Shenzhen, so we went to see this big mall, which was extremely modern and pretty much had every brand that we can ask for. And right outside this mall was this massive Huawei store, easily one of the most impressive modern smartphone stores that I've seen. I bought this new jacket from Uniqlo, which by the way, I ended up losing on the bus. Sadly, I couldn't get it back. I also went to this major smartphone market in Shenzhen where seeing the mini flagship models of the latest smartphones like the Galaxy S25 Ultra or especially the orange iPhone 17 Pro Max. But of course, TCL had a major surprise for us towards the end of the day. We had our fancy TCL dinner on the 115th floor, which felt like a full circle moment. Seeing the full Shenzhen view, it was really impressive. So we're now at the end of this wonderful trip. Just had an amazing dinner at 115th floor. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the behind the scenes, all the innovation that go behind making TCL products. If you guys are new here on the channel, be sure to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.